Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. In today's video, we are going to look at the question 1 of the 2020 NCA Level 1 Chance and Data Paper. I believe most of the schools in New Zealand is going to do this external, so let's tackle the question in question 1. Okay, so the first question is, the Tuti Ri Fatu is a bird. It is found along the seashores, estuaries and riverbeds. The population of the birds changes during certain time of the year as they move within New Zealand and as far away as Australia. So the graph below will show the population of Tutiri Fatu at one location in New Zealand between 2015 and 2020. So let's look at the first graph. So the graph looks like this. The question asks you, what was the lowest number of Tutiri Fatu recorded? So from the graph, you look at the highest point and the lowest point. And you look here, the lowest point is the green spot there. And the lowest number of Tutiri Fatu was recorded in 2017, January 2017. Uh, that was in early 2017. So if you can get that, that will give you an achieve, easy achieve. Isn't it right? Great. Now we shall look at... The next part of the question, so they tell you discuss any trends, patterns or unusual features you notice in the graph and provide evidence to justify your statement. So we look at the trends, the patterns and the unusual features. So the trend, the long term trend that if you look at the trend, the trend it is going down. Okay, so it's a gradual decreasing of trend from 2015 to 2021. You can see it's going down. And the highest number is around here, 1,008. And the lowest number here around there is less than 100. So you can put it down in the long-term trend. Okay, what about the pattern? The pattern, they seem to be a regular pattern every year. They tend to increase in the middle of the year and they will go down at the end of the year. So you can put it down in the pattern is that they increase to the peak in the middle of the year, but the number decline towards the end of the year. Okay, that's not too bad, right? And... The last question, you talk about unusual features. Okay, the unusual features, uh, I look at this, uh, the trend, there's a shoulder at the peak in uh, in 2020, okay? And also there is a extra fall in the beginning of 2017. So these two points, they are unusual features and we have to investigate further. So in this paper, if you write one reason, you get an achieve, you get two reason, you get a merit, and you get all three reason, you will get an excellence in this question. So remember, if they ask you for trends and whatever, write as many things as you can. Great. Now we will proceed to the question on the tables. Okay. So this will always appear in exam. So we have to look at the question now. So some of the two theory far too will not move to the other areas because they are too sick or too old. So the question is, the table shows a sample of 1,350, so the total is 1,350 on Stewart Island during 2019 that either moved away or stayed. The sample was recorded, so this is a 2 by 2 table, you have male and female, move away and stay. So as usual, in a 2 by 2 table, you have to put the totals, the row totals and the column totals. Okay, so we shall answer the question now. One Tutiri Fatu was selected from this sample. What is the probability that is a female who stayed? So we look at the female who stayed. So that number is 165. So you're going to be probability of female who stayed. Okay, so you are going to answer that at 165 out of the total. The total is 1350. Put in your calculator and the answer is 0 0.1222. That will give you an achieve in that question. Okay? Not too bad, right? Okay, now we look at the second question. One of the two theory for two that state was selected. So you are looking at any the, the bird that state. So total is 250. What is the probability that it is a male so the male is this number here it's going to be probability of male uh, it's going to be 85 out of the one who stayed 
250 and put in your calculator and the answer is 0 0.34 and that is the merit not too bad right great now we shall look at the last question okay same table is it the male or female to theory photo is more likely to move away so we have to look at it female who move away we look at the female now move away is going to be 690 out of the female is 855 and the probability comes up to 0 0.8070 on the other hand male who move away so male you're looking at all the male who move away is 410 out of 495 and you calculate the probability as 0 0.8 Okay, now the question asks you who is more likely to move away? Is it male or female? So you can see the male probability is higher. So you answer male is more likely to move away as their probability, which is 0 0.8283, is larger than the probability of female, which is 0 0.8070. So if you can answer that, that will give you a merit. So again, keep watching. Video 2 and 3 will appear soon. So once you have mastered the question in 1, 2 and 3, in the 3 different videos, you should be able to ace this external at the end of the year. So have a good day and see you soon everyone. Cheers.